Good morning, Griffins. My name is Sidra Glasgow, and you're watching WSTV. Today, we're going to talk about speech and debate, soccer, and coffee house. But first, let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Sickle Speech and Debate Team is off to a strong start debating in student congress. A big congratulations to Joseph Benjamin for placing 6th in his chamber, David Pham for placing 6th in his chamber, and Noel Berg for placing 4th in his chamber. Good job to those phenomenal Griffins. Come out to support the girls and boys soccer teams tonight versus Spoda. After a double win on Tuesday, both teams are looking for another outstanding performance. The girls play at 6 and the boys play at 8. Come show your Griffin spirit. Last call for Coffee House performers. If you would like to perform tomorrow night at the Coffee House night, you must see Mrs. Silbert in room 3203 or Mr. Bear in 911 by the end of today to get into the lineup. Don't forget, if you're coming out, bring a teddy bear and get an additional ticket for the raffle prize. 6 o'clock tomorrow night in the auditorium, $5 at the door. If, you're, if performing is not your thing, you can also donate teddy bears to the Rough Riders of Tampa Bay. Let's take a look at an informative video about the program and how you can help. The Rough Riders is a charitable organization that pays tribute to President Teddy Roosevelt's compassion towards bears. Our biggest thing is we like to do is pass out teddy bears. And it's a great opportunity for the kids to do something simple but reach out greatly. Just keep in mind that it's going to a good cause. We're helping kids out that, you know, are struggling. The kids, orphanages, charities, uh, mostly cancer patients and children's hospitals. We're looking for a big donation again this year. Chef Rick has been a central aspect of encouraging the school to participate in the teddy bear drives, but this is his last year at Sickles and he's hoping to reach a new record. We're going to get a lot more. Last year, all the organizations, the clubs, the, the, the small groups, some of the classes, they did great things by giving us bears. Uh, my primary focus is probably with the clubs, um, making sure they know that they can use it for community service. You can help too. Just bring me some bears. You can drop them off down here at room 215. We'd love to have all the bears you can get for us. The bottom line is our students are the beginning of that. Turning in one bear and the impact that one bear can have on a child is huge. A better thing to do to make, a, you know, to make the holiday season a little bit better than to help out you know, a child in need. What better thing indeed? Chef will be collecting teddy bears until December 19th. Be sure to bring in teddy bears this month to put a smile on a child's face this holiday season. For WSTV News, I'm Zinnia Hartman. Please donate anything you can to help those in need. We need to gather as a community to make Tampa the best it can be. Now, let's take a look at what we have for lunch today. I went Christmas shopping at the dollar store Cause I had a long list of holiday chores Those sleigh bells jingled as I walked through the door I saw trash and tinsel all over the floor I saw... Thank you to our cafeteria staff for an outstanding lunch. That's all we have for today. I'm Sidra Glasgow with WSTV. Have a great day and make good choices.